the update zone. This is Alekhya Rathod. A 50-year-old school teacher in Bangalore has filed a complaint with the North East Cybercrime Police against an unknown person who claimed to be an official of the Anti-Narcotics Bureau of Mumbai Crime Branch took away 32 lakhs 25,111 rupees from her savings account on September 7. He told her that there is a parcel containing five laptops, five credit cards and five passports with her. She claimed that the parcel did not belong to her. But still, he told her that the case is now with the Anti-Narcotics Bureau of Mumbai Crime Branch. He told her to download an app to speak to them. She downloaded the app and spoke to a person who claimed to be an official of the Anti-Narcotics Bureau of Mumbai Crime Branch. He promised her to help her out. He took away the details of her bank account to see whether she received any amount from the illegal activities. Soon after sharing the readings, she realized that an amount of 32 lakhs 25,111 rupees has been transferred out of her savings account. Based on these transaction details, the cybercrime police are trying to trace down the accused. What is the remedy for all these cybercrimes? The cybercrime police say that do not share your details with anyone even if they claim to be a person, be a police or a cybercrime official. Akka, what is cyber security? Cyber security means securing our electronic devices like phones, laptops, computers, etc. and the data present in those devices from intruders who try to access them, steal them and use them as a lead for some other malicious activities. What is that sound, beta? Ha! Huh. I have received a message telling from my account 0.01 paise has been deducted. Cool, nothing of much importance. Don't take it light. Behind that one paise, there is a big story. If the same amount is deducted from 1000 people, the hacker who has inserted this code in the banking system can easily get 100 rupees. But these type of attacks are very common these days. This attack is called salami attack. Be cautious if considerable amount of money is deducted from your account. Visit your bank, get the case solved and don't forget to take tips from bankers on how to recognize fraud messages. Oh, I should follow this message to someone else. Ma, why are you sending those messages? My game is getting disturbed. Don't you know seriousness of this game? Oh dear mom, you should not send these messages. These messages carry viruses in them, which can enter into every file in the phone and damage it. Be mindful when forwarding the messages. Forward if and only if it is necessary and helpful. Mom, you have got an email. Wow, I'll get 20,000 rupees. Okay, I have to fill these details. I have filled all the details, but I did not receive any money. Hmm. 2000 has deducted from my account? Hmm. Deepu might have made some purchase. Deepu, Deepu, what purchase have you made worth of 2000 rupees? Nothing. How come 2000 is deducted? Oh my god, why did you fill it? You fell in hacker's trap. These are ways that hackers use to ask our personal information and deduct amount from our bank account. Do not open unauthorized and unauthenticated links and attachments that asks you to fill your credentials. Phishing email statistics suggest that nearly 1.2% of all emails sent are malicious, which translate to 3.4 billion phishing emails daily.
later that same evening. What happened, Akka? Are you not traveling abroad? No, I have received a call from our alumni team of Sri Satyasa University for Human Excellence that university is organizing a sports event for all the alumni to play cricket as a homecoming event. So, to participate in that, I have postponed my trip. A few moments later. I guess you have paid the amount for all your travels. Yes. Then, won't you like to reclaim the amount? You can call to customer care number and ask them to refund your amount. I will google the yatra.com customer care number. Hmm. I will tell the number, you just dial it. Hello? Yes, what can I do for you? I want to cancel my ticket that I have booked for my trip to Australia. Through which mode have you paid your amount? Through Google Pay. Can you tell me how much have you paid? 50,000. Okay, amount will be refunded. Can you tell me through which bank have you done your transaction? Hey, cut the call, cut the call. This is fake customer care number. If he is true customer care employee, he will not ask you these details. Indeed, he will only tell all your transaction details. Do not take customer care numbers by Googling it. Visit the original travel website, search for customer care number there. If you find, try to ask for a refund. If he also responds in the same way, then ignore it. It is better to care for what is there than to repent on what is lost. Do you know, in 2023 itself, cyber intelligence monitoring firm identified 31,197 fake customer care numbers online. 10 minutes later. Shall we watch movie tonight? Surely. After entering the room. Tell me your Netflix password. 2478. Whosoever asks, will you disclose it easily? First of all, why did you keep an easy password? Don't you know that a password should be of 8 digits with special characters, capital letters and numbers? Oh, four. Already many are using your account. Okay, let's watch in any other website like iBoma. iBoma no? I think it's not a secure account. No, no, no. no. Then we will see in WOT. WOT is web of trust which will show the security of the website by giving a rating percentage to it. Yes, it's not secure. Better not to download. First scan, then download. What are you doing? I am clicking pictures as you can see. I can see that. But why? Many photos in the same dress and pose? I want to post it on my social media account. Why do you want to post your personal photos on social media? Because I want to increase followers in my account. Is your account private or public? Public so that many can follow me. That means anyone can view them. So for that sake, you want to post all your personal photos? This can be harmful for you, Fuge. These days, cyber crimes are increasing rapidly and your photos can be used for any purpose. They can be mobbed, used to threaten you and ask money. I suggest you to not post them. Be aware of such traps through social media. Seems like cyber crimes never end. Then what is the solution for all this? Can we escape from all this? The answer is no, because in today's world, it is difficult to imagine our hands without phones and work without laptops and computers. Then what is the solution for all this? The only solution is to be aware of the cyber crimes and update ourselves with the cyber security measures and educate our family and friends on the same. This is Alekhya Radha signing off.